Hi, so good morning. Welcome to Viewpoints, an online meeting with college students and parents. So for this morning, uh, we're uh, going to discuss about the engineering education in the new normal. And uh, we're very lucky to have with us this morning the Dean of the Mapua Institute of Technology at Laguna, as well as the program chairs of the different engineering programs under MITL, as well as architecture. Uh, so, before we um, give the floor to our dean, uh, yung may mga katanungan po, pwede nyo pong ilagay or i-post yung comments sa ating chat box na makikita nyo po sa right side ng, uh, ng inyong screen. Okay? Uh, and we will be glad to answer these questions later on. So, um, I will now give the floor to the dean of the Mapua Institute of Technology at Laguna, Engineer Orlando Perez. Good morning. My name is Engineer Orlando G. Perez. So, I am Dean of the Mapua Institute of Technology at Laguna and at the same time, the Program Chair for Mechanical Engineering. So, with me are the uh, different pro uh, Program Chairs. Uh, we have Program Chair for Architecture, for Civil Engineering, for Electrical Engineering, for Chemical Engineering, for Computer Engineering, Industrial Engineering, and the Electronics Engineering. Now, what, what to expect in the new normal for engineering education? The fifth generation support of technology to build, connect, and continue is the new mode of engineering education. Cyber pedagogy and communication is the new paradigm, thereby intensifying webinar training for faculty members in support to online learning and to boost the remote teaching experience. The other utilization of the virtual system to connect everyone and everything together define the new or common education learning platforms. Curriculum developments and syllabi revisions in coherence to asynchronous learning and intensifying multidimensional skills such as technical, communication, social, global awareness, leadership, intercultural competence, complex problem solving, mindfulness, resilience, collaboration, transparency, and empathy are continuously implemented. Engineering education directed in online content development and transformation of teaching deliveries and evaluation, prepared course modules and technically designed materials for specific programs, carry on research, virtual classroom and remote laboratory simulation ex experience that enhance students' progress in acquiring technological knowledge and readiness for their choice of profession. It involves educating students to be adequately prepared as millennial engineers suitable to virtual and societal shifts like work from home arrangement. I am now going to discuss about the uh, competitiveness of the college programs. Uh, MCL would like to ensure the uh, competitiveness of the college programs. And there are ways to do it. No? First, uh, there, is a, uh, you, there is a platform for the, uh, for the learning uh, management system. We call it the Blackboard. This is uh, being placed in our institution since 2016. Kaya hindi po bago ang MCL doon sa paggamit no. LMS, no, na pang online learning. That's why uh, I, I would be uh, confident to say that MCL could be uh, uh, well prepared when it comes to this kind of uh, teaching, the online teaching. Another is the partnerships with organizations. The uh, MCL is uh, providing a wide range of learning resources by partnering with the several institutions, several organizations. Academic organizations as well. Now, the Cisco, for example, the Coursera, the Wiley, the Sengage, the MacGro, and the LinkedIn uh, uh, partnership were established. Kaya, you are we are confident to say na prepared kami sa mga ganyan, uh, system. system no? The faculty members are being um, trained continuously. Yun yung aming uh, in ensure no? so that. It, they would be prepared to uh, deliver the uh, online classes uh, with, e with ease. No? They are continuously trained and they are delivering the courses 
using active engagement with the students. Kaya po, uh, dynamic yung aming uh, online uh, learning system. The use of the DIC, no? the, we are using a um, peculiar uh, method in uh, teaching, that is the DEDICT. We call it the demonstrate, explain, demonstrate, imitate, coach, and test. This is our common practice. The uh, curricula and uh, syllabi, yung ginagamit pong curriculum na tsaka mga syllabus na dito sa MCL, they are customized, no? They are, they are considered learning packets, no? The, the, the students can, uh, be, can view this and they have access to this uh, readily, no? There are also modules designed to develop their skills, no? the students I'm referring to. Their competencies as well are being developed, no? in this new normal academic milieu. There is a workplace flexibility and creativity in terms of communication, in this lama uh, short change dyan. The leadership, collaborative ingenuity, the problem solving, dyan uh, forte yan ng mga MITL, no? the, uh, the program in MITL, mga teachers siguro dyan, Yan ang kanilang sinasabing agahan at almusal, tanghalian. The problem-solving uh, method, the self-reliance, operations and project management are, of course, the technical. For the, uh, for the uh, programs, uh, I will leave to, to Ma'am Prisel. Ma'am Prisel, you, you start doing the programs, introduction programs. Thank you, Sir DP. The Mapuwe Institute of Technology at Laguna offers the following programs. BS in Architecture, BS in Civil Engineering, BS in Chemical Engineering, BS in Computer Engineering, compu uh, and Electronics and Communications Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Industrial Engineering, and Mechanical Engineering. Good morning to all. I am architect Lupredo Dacuna, the program chair of architecture. The Bachelor of Science program is designed to provide an exceptional college education as well as, well as comprehensive preparation for entry into a competitive and challenging career. Studies in architecture and other basic disciplines are undertaken in parallel throughout the five-year program. Curriculum is designed to develop efficiency in design and conceptualization. Enhance skills to communicate ideas through models and graphics, and to gain competence in artistic, practical, and technical aspects of architecture. The program integrates both theoretical and practical approaches to the study with emphasis on the prior development of the student's creative and critical thinking skills. Aside from the essential design, planning, structural conceptualization courses, the curriculum also includes four courses in science, in the sciences, ethics, and humanities. These are necessary in appreciating the basic philosophy and concepts of the multidimensional aspects of architecture. Computer-aided courses in drafting and design are provided not only to immerse the students in the design culture, but also to develop in them the artistic skills and technical competencies using state-of-the-art technologies. In its aim to infuse that high sense of intellectual capacity to seek for the truth, experiences, experience new fields, and endeavor to enhance quality of life, the program also includes green building principles, sustainable design concept, research methods, and issues as part of its curriculum requirements. Professional practice courses are essential, are essential to link the students to the real world and appreciate the realization of the profession. Again, this is uh, Engineer Del Pilar to introduce the uh, BS in Civil Engineering. The Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering is aiming to provide the uh, highest quality broad-based technical, scientific, and liberal education to enable students to qualify for graduate or advanced education and professional work in a wide range of civil engineering activities. Sa BSC po, there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of uh, fields of study. If I would 
uh, I would uh, enumerate. No? First, there is what we call the geotechnical engineering. Aside from, it, from geotechnical engineering, we have structural engineering. Meron ding transportation and traffic engineering. Meron ding water resources engineering as well as environmental engineering. The construction engineering and management is included. And last but not the least, the project planning and administration. So what does it mean? It means that if the student is a graduate of BSCE, there are a lot of avenues he can choose or she can choose to work on the uh, different fields guarantee that your uh, you, that your sons or daughters once they graduate in BSE will not be uh, at loss marami silang pwedeng puntahan now regarding the achievements of the program the program achievements were reflected no in the graduates performance Yung performance po ng mga graduates ng MCL, hindi siya pahuhuli. I am confident in saying that. For example, in the professional board examinations, they are uh, doing well no, in terms of uh, uh, performing in the uh, results. Makikita natin when you compare the MCL results to the national uh, uh, rank. No, to the, when you rank it nationally, andun po siya sa mataas na lang. I'm confident in saying that. Another is, they are the our graduates secure highly technical positions when it comes to employment. Um, marami na pong napuntahan na ating mga graduates, and I'm confident to say again, maraming mga naging um, top notch yung ating graduates na sa mga technical positions. They are uh, occupying. Uh, technical positions in reputable companies take note no? in which their diverse skills and knowledge along with their high ethical standards actually were nurtured dito po in the MCL institution good morning in behalf of the engineer Jeff, I will be discussing the BS chemical engineering the Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering program of MCL provides an opportunity for developing skills, knowledge, and competencies not only in basic engineering, but also in areas related to chemical industries, such as in the production of chemicals, food, drug, materials, cement, energy, and other consumer products. The program is based on the application of mathematics, chemistry, physics, Material science, biology, and economics. Computer applications are vital to the program. The program aims to mold and hone students to become chemical engineers who are technically equipped, professionally qualified, industry collaborators, and innovators in solving various societal problems and challenges and always willing to engage in lifelong learning and professional development. Chemical engineers are also called universal engineers because of their broad scientific and technical mastery. Chemical engineering is all about changing raw materials into useful products. Chemical engineers focuses on processes and products. They develop and design processes to create products, either focusing on improving existing processes or creating new ones. Chemical engineers are also concerned with managing resources, protecting the environment and health and safety. For their career opportunities, graduates of chemical engineering can be in industries where they will be designing as process engineers, chemical manufacturing facilities engineers, researchers and innovators or scientists or scientists, process and design engineers for different industries such as pharmaceutical, energy and information technology. They can also be in quality assurance, manufacturing and consultancy as well as in safety, health, and environment, and also in oil and gas, food, and other industries. Good morning. I'm Del Fabiana from BS Computer Engineering. So the Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering program started in 2007 and continues to produce computer engineers after its first batch of graduates in 2012. And I'm, I'm proud that uh, our graduates, our alumni, 
are one of the highest paid employees. And the curriculum addresses the requirements based on the minimum standards set out by Commission of Higher Education and Philippine Technological Council Accreditation Board for Engineering and Technology or PTC Act. That is in conformance on industry relevant curriculum and an educational experience that fosters excellence in technical competence, soft skills, and ethical professional practice. The program provides with the required skills and competencies needed in the field of computer, communication, and information technology. So our students were given an opportunity to further their learning experience and earn core certificates in Coursera and Cisco. And over the years, our students uh, has won various regional and national competitions, such as joining the ICTEC TPE Challenge and Life Skills Olympics. Good morning. I'm May Garcilia Nasa, ECE uh, Program Coordinator. Her Bachelor of Science in Electronics Engineering program provides preparation for the student's professional life as an electronics and communications engineer. Curriculum is designed to be student-centered and is aligned to meet MCL's outcome-based education framework. It also provides diverse activities and opportunities covering topics such as device physics, device operation, design of integrated circuits, communications and network systems, audio and video processing, robotics, electromagnetic and antenna systems, and electronic materials to name a few. The program offers eight specialization tracks, namely instrumentation and control track, microelectronics track, telecommunication track, semicon and electronic manufacturing track, broadcasting, power electronics track, biomedical electronics and computer systems. These tracks are designed to further guide the students in jumpstarting their career. Several of its graduates have been employed in the country's reputable companies such as San Miguel Corporation, Lufthansa Technic Philippines, Accenture, Philippine Airlines, Analog Devices, Globe, Denso, Procter & Gamble, Samsung, On Semiconductor, Maxim Integrated, Microchip, to name a few. To add, since the opening of the program, we already have three top board passers. Namely, we have sixth placer, Engineer Donovan Doroin, for April ECE Board Exam 2015. Next, we have third placer, Engineer Christopher Katabubi, for October 2016 board exam. And recently we have the sixth placer, Engineer Alan Cantal, for the April 2019 board exam. Good morning, I am Maria Priscilla Loyola, the chair of the electrical engineering program of MCM. The Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering program deals with the study and use of technology in applied science involving electrical phenomena. It builds on a good foundation in the areas of mathematics and physical science, leading to understanding of the basic theory and concepts needed for entry into any of the many activities in the profession, including but not limited to design, operations and management, teaching, sales, and consulting. The EE program of MCL has produced 100% passing rate in the Registered Electrical Engineer Licensure Examination administered by the Professional Regulation Commission since 2012. Good morning again. I am Engineer Ezra Godilano representing BS Industrial Engineering. The BS of uh, the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Engineering program deals in the design, improvement, and installation of products, processes, and integrated systems of people, materials, information, equipment, and energy. The program must have a specialized knowledge and skills in the mathematical, physical, and social sciences together with the principles and methods of engineering analysis and design to specify, predict, and evaluate the results to be obtained from such systems. The program provides a broad spectrum, including production planning and control, manufacturing systems and processes, facilities design, human factors, 
occupational safety, quality control, systems reliability, and systems analysis and design with a strong emphasis on advanced computing. A total systems approach is used to optimize the various aspects of operations in both manufacturing and service industries. The first batch of graduates who took the Certified Industrial Engineering Board Exam, or CIE, obtained a 100% passing rate with three top notchers placing second, third, and eighth place last November 25, 2012. Through the years 2012 to 2018, MCL has obtained an average of 94.29% passing rate and a total of 14 top notchers. Also, our graduates of BS Industrial Engineering always land on different jobs on different uh, fields in manufacturing and services. To name a few of the companies, we have alumni from San Miguel Corporation, Philippine Airlines, Cebu Pacific, Integrated Microelectronics, Globe Telecom, to name a few. Good morning again. This is Sandra Perez, so I also chair the Mechanical Engineering Program. The Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. So the program draws upon a number of basic and applied science to design, build, and improve devices, machines, processes, and systems that involve mechanical forces, work, and energy. It emphasizes the study of the efficient transformation of energy from one form to another and the behavior of solid, liquid, and gases. The program includes the design and manufacture of structures used in industrial, biomedical, instrumentation, and transportation systems. It also includes converting thermal and chemical energy into mechanical work through engines and power plants, transporting energy via devices like heat exchangers, pipelines, gears, and linkages, and utilizing energy process and structures to perform a variety of tasks. Since all manufactured products contains part the transmit forces, mechanical engineering is considered vital in designing and selecting materials that will ensure the structural integrity of almost every product. Since 2012, the program is consistently getting a high passing rate the ME licensure examination. So the ME program of MCL ranked number one top performing school under category one, at least 50 examinees in the August 2018 licensure examination. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Oki. As you can see, one of the common things that is being brought by the uh, programs of, of MCL is the performance in the uh, professional board examination. Um, I think I forgot to uh, showcase my performance <laughs> in the civil engineering. We have also top notchers in the civil engineering. We have also at times we are also having 100% when it comes to the uh, result. And uh, always, <laughs> always the uh, C performance of MCL always higher than the national passing percentage. That's why we're quite proud of it, just like the other programs. How were we able to, uh, to achieve you know, this, this uh, accomplishment? Well, it is because we, we uh, were successful in developing the skills of our students, and we are confident that we can still do it in the new normal. Why? because we're doing an online and remote teaching. Uh, in terms of uh, preparedness, as I've said before, we're quite prepared in doing that. No? We have a technology-driven blended learning deliveries, and we can do it in a variety of ways. No? There are strategies being taught in our, uh, by, to our faculty, by our experts, to ensure effective communication, of course, for smooth and effective learning process. There is also an upskill online trainings now hosted by educational and industry partners. So we were not restricted in the four corners of our campus. No? Or we, we are really uh, doing the uh, forging, the forging of partnerships with the educational 
and industry institutions. They supplement instructions and the skills applications. That's why we're really confident in saying that MCL is prepared for the new normal. Another is the relevant, creative, personalized, and cost-effective methods to demonstrate and induce the much-needed skills for students. Kaya, dito na, kung saan, kung ano ang, kung nagmili pa kayo ng school, dito na talaga, in MCL. There is a relevant blackboard and creative cyber tool assessments to measure course outcomes. Name it and we have it. So that's why we're so thankful uh, that we are given this uh, opportunity to tell you about the MCL programs, specifically the engineering programs of MCL. Thank you and we're now ready for the next phase. Ayan, so thank you very much po sa ating mga program chairs as well as the Dean of the Mapua Institute of Technology at Laguna. So, um, we have here some questions from our audience. Ayan, so babasahin ko po yung ilan and we will um, answer your questions. So, ito po, meron pong question dito. Any advice will take electronics engineering course? So, um, the answer po dito, make sure that you have the passion for the course and the profession. So, um, ayun po, sinagot po siya ng program chair ng ECE. So, next po, may question din dito, ano pong app ang gagamitin sa online discussions and classes? So, again, the official learning management system of MCL since 2016-2015 uh, is uh, called Blackboard Learn or BDL. So, uh, basically, uh, all professors here in MCL and students use uh, BBL uh, for the online classes, online discussions. Uh, we use BBL Collaborate. It's part of BBL to record and to meet virtually our students. Magagamit rin po ba ang 1MCL? So, Ang 1MCL po, um, for new, uh, all students here in MCL, it's used to enlist in classes. Uh, yung makikita nyo rin po dito yung class schedule nyo. Dito nyo rin po makikita yung payment history as well as yung unsettled charges. You may also uh, use 1MCL to settle your payments. So, pag may nakita po tayong unsettled charges doon, meron doon nakalagay na option that you can pay through PayMaya. So, yung pag-inlik po natin, yung may mga set of instructions po na magpa-follow. So, again, uh, yung PayMaya, uh, pwede po siyang gamitin to settle our unsettled charges as long as meron pong Visa or MasterCard logo yung mga uh, debit or credit cards natin. And for more information about other offsite payment channels, uh, kindly visit our website. Yan. Ilang years po ang architecture sa MCL? So, architecture is five years in all schools offering the program nationwide. So, yun po, five years ang BS architecture in MCL. And then, ayan, so, yan, pwede pa send or pa ulit ulit ang computer engineering. So, again, para po sa mga late na nakapag-tune in sa ating live viewpoint session for this morning, lahat po ng recordings ng viewpoints ay naka-upload sa MCL YouTube channel. So, isearch na lang po, Malayan Colleges Laguna. And then, yun, after searching, mag-subscribe na rin po tayo. And then, makikita nyo po doon yung mga previous viewpoint sessions starting May 16. So, so far, we have been tackling a variety of... Um, of um, discussions here in Viewpoints uh, from different colleges as well. Pati rin po yung mga enrollment procedures, ad admissions um, matters, and so on. So, ayun po, again, if na-miss po natin yung live session ng Viewpoints, meron pong recording of uh, each session sa ating MCL YouTube channel. Next question, ilang taon po ang civil engineering course? So, just like um, BS Architecture, five years din po siya. Ah, four. Four. For sa new curriculum. Four years po. Ayan. Tapos, uh, yung ibang mga questions po dito ay admissions-related questions. So, um, eto po. Um, we have here uh, this morning the Assistant Vice President for Academic Affairs, Professor James Ronald Messina to address uh, some of the questions na nandito. 
So, Sir James, first question po. May I Good ask morning to our parents and uh, new students for uh, school, college. And he will continue his so, college. Are there any requirements needed before enrollment? Thanks. Okay. So, for uh, open admissions and enrollment, we have already posted the guidelines and the uh, set of requirements. So, since uh, May 29, all our guidelines are posted in the website. So, uh, please feel free to uh, check our website uh, para dun sa mga requirements on open admissions and enrollment. Also, I would like to uh, grab this opportunity to uh, invite all our uh, incoming uh, freshman students lalo na yung mga mag-enroll sa ating engineering and architecture to uh, visit us this coming July 17 and 18, 2020. That's this coming Friday and Saturday for our open house and uh, on-site enrollment for our new students. So, uh, please, punta po kayo dito para yung mga concerns nyo about enrollment and yung gusto na mag-enroll easily mapaprocess natin yung enrollment nyo this coming Friday and Saturday. Again, July 17 and 18, 2020. So, uh, for the requirements, check our website. Nandun po yung steps natin for remote enrollment. And I would like to uh, reiterate, all our students actually have two options. You can go here for the on-site enrollment. But for those who are not yet comfortable going out because of the existing quarantine uh, standards and restrictions, you can also avail the online enrollment. So all the procedures are in our website. Pakicheck na lang po para mag-guide kayo. Definitely will be requiring the report card. So uh, for students naman ng uh, senior high school of MCL, lalo na yung mga nasa STEM, na gustong kumuha ng engineering or architecture programs under the Mapua Institute of Technology at Laguna, I would like to uh, inform you na hindi nyo na kailangan mag-request ng electronic copy ng inyong report card dahil nasa amin na yon. So, uh, all you have to do is to wait for your enrollment schedule which is tomorrow, July 15 to 31. Pagpunta nyo rito, we will enroll you right away. So, para hindi na kayo dalawang beses pupunta dito, we can uh, process your enrollment at the same time, your uh, report card when you uh, visit MCL starting tomorrow. And again, on-site enrollment and open house will be this coming July 17 and 18. Thank you very much, Sir James. For our next question po, uh, good morning. Will there be an entrance ex exam for transferees for school year 2020-2021? Okay, so we are in open admissions for academic year 2020 and 2021. So pag sinabing, uh, sinabing open admissions, wala tayong entrance examination because of the restrictions. And uh, we would like to uh, give uh, everybody a chance to uh, have Mapua brand of education right here. That's why even for transferees, we have posted already our announcement. We have a uh, dedicated uh, team member from the admissions office to uh, process you uh, your application for transfer. So uh, maybe later we can post the announcement. So please contact us so that we can assist the transferees. So uh, starting July 15, we will be uh, giving instructions already on how to enroll for the transferees. But since May, we have been accepting applications already for transfer. So uh, we'll be opening the school this coming August 17 for both senior high school and college. That's why we are encouraging all uh, freshman students and uh, uh, senior high school to enroll na so that uh, we can start with the uh, uh, classes na rin. Thank you, sir. Uh, for our next question, it's from Pao. Good day po. Ask ko lang po kung may info po kayo na nag-upgrade na ng system ang PLDT at ibang internet provider kasi po marami po sa mga subscribers na gusto magpa-upgrade. Salamat po. Okay, so uh, regarding the upgrade, ano kasi yan eh? So uh, we have been receiving a lot of inquiries already from students about uh, partnership with uh, with telcos 
And uh, medyo mahirap kasi yan because it's, the issue is locational. So, pag nakapag-tie up tayo sa isang telco, baka mamaya hindi ito ganun ka-okay as a service provider dito sa location na to. That's why we are not uh, endorsing anybody. But we are in contact with uh, the major telcos for the uh, improvement of service in the area. So, uh, maybe I guess mas maganda kung sa telco nyo nakakausapin yan since the, the issue is geographic and locational. Ayan. So, pero so far, we, have, uh, we are receiving naman good feedback from our students except for some na may mga issues about uh, yung connection sa 1MCL. Pero pag tinatawag naman nila sa ISP, sa Internet Service Provider, naaayos naman immediately. Ayan. Uh, next question po, what is the per semester schedule or month's coverage? Okay, we'll be starting the school year this coming August 17 and it will run until November. So that's the first term and uh, because of the restrictions of the Commission on Higher Education, we will be having a fully online first trimester for our uh, college programs. I thank you, sir. Uh, next one, next question. Do I have to pass all the requirements on site even if I pass all the requirements yes. in DBL? Yes, I was also definitely. The purpose... The purpose of online submission is for us to review the documents prior to the submission of documents of all original documents on site. And we are very transparent and clear about it in the guidelines. So, medyo marami hindi nagbabasa. Whereas we said in the guidelines that online submission will be due to the community quarantine restrictions but once they are available, once they are allowed to go to the school, kailangan na nilang ipasa yung original copies of documents. And I think all schools are requiring original documents. Hi, next po. How about civil engineering? How many years po? Then kailan po kami graduate? So ito po yeah. nasagot po ito. So I'll it just is, read the answer. It, it so four years po civil engineering. Here. That means if you enroll this year, you expect to graduate four years. Hence, granting you will pass regularly. Hi po. Next question. Uh, ito nasagot na rin po. We are planning to buy materials for my daughter who's an architecture student before August. What are the things to buy and what brand? So... Uh, according to the program chair of BS Architecture, and we will post the required materials online for your guide in buying the materials. And also, we will be recommending the brands. Ilang taon po civil engineering? Four years. Meron na po bang nakapag-enroll for BS Architecture for this school year? And so, uh, enrollment is ongoing. So, meron na rin po mga enrollees for uh, BS Architecture. And how many years po until you graduate for architecture? Architecture program is five years. Ayan, next. Uh, kailangan po ba ng AutoCAD sa ECE? So, according to the program share of ECE, yes, uh, AutoCAD is needed by first year, third term in the 2020 curriculum. Uh, this question is for Sir James. Meron po bang scholarship kapag next year po nag-apply? Yeah, let's talk about it next year. Hi, thank you, sir. Yes, I. So, uh, what is the school schedule starting August 17? So, medyo, um, siguro po class scheduling niya refer niya yung sa August 17. So, again, uh, stay tuned po tayo sa ating social media pages and website regarding the calendar of activities uh, para sa ating mga upcoming terms. Ayan. Next, ilang years po ang BS Chemical Engineering, nasagot din po dito, for new students, four years, which includes the study of chemical and physical principles, general engineering, and professional chemical engineering courses. Next question, hanggang kailan pa po pwede mag-submit ng requirements? Yeah, we'll be closing the enrollment this coming July 31. So, ang uh, we cannot say na it's always open dahil hindi, na, hindi magpapasa yung mga mag-e-enroll. And like any other universities, 
we need to uh, set a deadline for that. Otherwise, maraming mahuhuli. And as I always tell the parents, we will be opening a, uh, a summer course. We call it summer course, but it's no longer summer, obviously. And we call it cyber camp. So uh, it's uh, originally scheduled to start uh, tomorrow, but we, give, we want to give chance to those uh, students who will be uh, enrolling this uh, July 17 and 18. So I would like to announce to our uh, new students, both senior high school and college, that we'll be having the cyber camp opening this coming uh, July 21. So that's Tuesday. So uh, my apologies for those who are excited already to have the cyber camp tomorrow. Unfortunately, meron po tayong on-site enrollment this coming Friday and Saturday. And as we said, yun lamang pong mga officially enrolled students ang makakajoin ng summer camp or yung cyber camp. So if we will start it tomorrow, yung uh, magjo-join, mag enroll ng Saturday and uh, this coming Friday, hindi sila makaka-join dun sa first week. So uh, because of the request also of the parents, we're moving the opening of cyber camp this coming July 21 instead. Hi, thank you, sir. Next question, what online application will be used on August 17? Will it be Zoom? Let us... Let us uh, throw the question to our uh, program chairs and the dean. So uh, maybe they can share some of their uh, experiences for the third term as regards the conduct of classes and the delivery of instruction. So maybe we can uh, give the program chairs a uh, what one round to uh, explain the delivery of uh, lessons for uh, the first term. Okay, so uh, based... Uh, on that question, so unahin po natin ang program chair ng civil engineering po. So, share po daw tayo ng mga experiences natin na encounter during the third term online classes po. Sir Hermi? During the third term class, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, faculty were able to uh, deliver what is required dun sa, dun sa mga courses by uh, considering uh, different uh, techniques or methods in giving their lessons. They have used the uh, different types of uh, platform like the Collaborate. Yung pong nakakapag-discuss uh, nakakapag sila online. No? Uh, and they use it uh, using synchronous and asynchronous method. Pag sinabi pong synchronous method, yun po yung sabay-sabay, no? uh, uh, real-time. When the uh, teacher is explaining, the students simultaneously uh, listen. No? And uh, you know, maganda na synchronous. For those students who were not able, because we are anticipating that they are, there are students who have uh, uh, weak signals do sa kanilang mga bahay. Kaya when we anticipate that, ang ginawa po ng uh, mga faculty is that they record the they record the uh, the discussion. They record the uh, you know the, uh, the the explanations that they gave to the class. Kaya ang nangyayari, blended. Some students uh, participate synchronously, meaning on uh, real time when the uh, lesson is being delivered online, and others can participate asynchronously. When you say asynchronous participation. Anytime they want, they have free time, for example, in or they have a uh, strong signal during that time, then they they can go back to the uh, lessons given by the, the faculty. Kaya sabi ko kanina, there are varied ways, no? Uh, methods na ginamit ng aming mga faculty in order to deliver properly the on the uh, online lessons. I think other other uh, other program chairs can also share their. Uh, experiences. Okay, good morning again. Uh, for architecture, uh, we've been using, in, in online classes, we've been using uh, BBL Collaborate, uh, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, even uh, YouTube, and Messenger. 
No? Uh, we're using the combination of the synchronous and asynchronous uh, system of teaching online. No? For synchronous, uh, we use that for the discussion on, on how the design problems will be uh, tackled by the students. And for the synchronous uh, system, uh, we're using that for the uh, design itself because uh, majority of the architecture courses are being done individually sa mga bahay ninyo, mga student. So, we, we give you enough time to complete your design proposals. So, we can use different uh, platforms, which all depend on the professors. Uh, because right now, even in the drawing and design classes, we have already prepared a online video tutorial lectures uh, being posted on the different uh, YouTube channel of the different faculty of the architecture. So, meron sila po kanya-kanyang YouTube channel. That's where the students can view their lectures online. Thank you po. Ayan. Thank you so much po, architect. So, next naman po, we have Engineer Papianya. Okay, good morning once again. So, for our uh, experience uh, during the uh, third term, so it's a good thing that uh, we've been using the uh, Blackboard as our LMS for, for uh, over the years. So that's why our faculty members are um, uh, very uh, productive in uh, giving out their uh, lecture notes uh, using uh, BBN. And uh, for the le uh, lecture part, uh, our faculty members were um, implementing both synchronous and asynchronous uh, mode of learning wherein um, they uh, do the Blackboard Collaborate in discussing the lecture, lectures with their discussions with their students and at the same time do uploads. For the laboratory part, um, our faculty members were using um, some uh, applications wherein uh, it will encourage the students to do uh, lab simulations. Also, we're doing a uh, uh, upload of data sets so that uh, students will uh, have the opportunity to analyze the data and be able to submit the reports on time. And uh, although some of the challenges that we have encountered is that some of the students uh, were not uh, able to fully um, uh, make use or uh, um, engage in the uh, in the blackboard discussion because uh, uh, most of, some of them uh, have uh, slow internet connection and some uh, some of them also don't have uh, internet access. Although uh, we're able to communicate with some of the students uh, through Facebook, um, uh, some students also communicate uh, with the uh, other uh, platforms as well, like. Uh, using Zoom or uh, Microsoft Teams. Now, when it comes to the implementation of uh, um, capstone projects, so uh, our students uh, uh, do their um, 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 their uh, final defense. Uh, we use uh, the virtual mode wherein. Uh, we use Microsoft Teams uh, in conducting their uh, final uh, presentation. So, in all, uh, with regards to the um, output of this term, um, I think uh, we have uh, more than 80% of our students who are fully engaged with the uh, platform. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, ma'am. Hi. So, for our next question po, uh, it's about GSA. Uh, my documents are submitted last June 17 and it was checked on June 20. So, Sir James? Okay. So, uh, yung problem sa GSA na yan, that's very common. And uh, we have exhausted all means to uh, contact the parents and the students. Number one na nagiging problem namin is hindi sumasagot. Kung sumagot man, Hindi nakaka-decide yung student kung anong mode of payment yung gagawin. Take note that the reason why we are calling the parents and the students for the GSA is for us to uh, orient you or to brief you about the payment details and the payment instructions. 
and also to ask you about the payment option. So, kaya po tayo nagtatagal dyan. Number one nga, hindi sumasagot yung mga students. Minsan, maling number yung nabibigay. And uh, second, pag tinawagan yung students, yung uh, parents naman ang ituturo, sasabihin, hindi ko pa po alam kung anong payment option. Gaya ito na lang po, balik tayo na lang po natin yung proseso, lalo na yung mga nagpa-follow up na nauunawaan naman namin na gusto nyo nang mag-enroll. Let us flip the procedure. Kayo na lang po ang tumawag sa amin in our helplines. Pakisuyo na lang po. Number one, when you call, we assume that it's your best time para makausap about the uh, GSA and the payment instructions. And second, when you call us, we are also assuming that you are ready already. You are ready rather with the needed information for enrollment such as mode of payment, yung mga scholarship validation kung meron man or discounts like uh, Ayala, eh, Ayala Corporation and YGC discounts. So, yun na lang po. Kung uh, hindi pa po kayo natatawagan and you are confident enough that you have submitted all documents, we are posting our helplines. Please feel free to uh, call us so that we can give you. Ang mabilis lang po yan. Pagtawag nyo po, we'll give you the details. Ngayon kayo tumawag, mamayang hapon, bago magsarado yung bangko, if you do not want to go here, you can actually pay through our offsite payment channel. So, that's part of the new normal. Sabi ko nga, this is not a perfect enrollment system. Sabi ko nga, surpassing limits in the new normal and we're not saying we have surpassed the limits. It's progressive. It's happening. Uh, diba? So it's in the present tense. So uh, please uh, do accept our apologies for the inconvenience. We're trying to improve the system. But uh, yun po, kung meron kayong uh, suggestions, open po kami dyan. Sa ngayon po, para hindi maging hindrance yung GSA sa inyong enrollment, we are posting the numbers there. Please call us so that we can give you the details. Another option is for you to visit us this coming July 17 and 18 for the on-site enrollment. In the on-site enrollment po, you, you can submit all original documents. You can uh, get your GSA. You can pay at the same time. So it's a one-stop shop for all your enrollment requirements. That will be this coming Friday and Saturday, July 17 and 18 here at Malayan Colleges Laguna sa Kabuyao. So, meron lang po tayong strict appointment system because we, uh, there is an existing uh, localized lockdown in the nearby barangays. So, uh, we are imposing uh, very strict uh, precautionary protocols and procedures. Magpa-appointment po tayo. I believe open pa po yung schedule for Friday and Saturday. Magpa-appointment po tayo so that we can uh, process your enrollment on those two on-site enrollment days. Pwede po ba ibang araw? Pwede po. Magpa-appointment lang po. And once we approve your appointment, then you can visit us for all your enrollment transactions. Okay? But again, for those who are following up their GSA, my suggestion is for you to call us so that we can give you instructions. Another thing also is that our enrollment advisors might be sending you already the GSA through the course messaging facility of Blackboard Learn. So please take time to check the BBL para kayo ay updated kung ano yung mga updates on enrollment and also the cyber camp. Yeah. So once you are enrolled, once you are already given the student number, please make it a habit to uh, always check the Blackboard Learn so that you can uh, get uh, relevant updates and developments not only on the enrollment management system but also on uh, the courses. So uh, when we start the school year this August 17, it's fully online so dapat lagi kayong nakatutok sa inyong Blackboard Learn so that you can uh, get the course activities and the uh, learning materials sa ating learning management system. Hi. So, sir, uh, this concern naman po para sa mga program chairs, pero nasagot na, re na rin po. I'll read the question. AutoCAD is offered uh, here. Is AutoCAD required for the first year of architecture? So, AutoCAD is offered in the second year and Revit is offered in the third year. Next po, 
Uh, hi po, what about the report card of the graduating grade 12 in your school? When do we get the report card? Okay, the release of the report card is ongoing. So, nakapost naman po yan by the senior high school department that is still by appointment. So, uh, ongoing po yan. Sa baba ngayon, may mga nare-release po na grade 12 report cards para dun sa mga nag-secure ng appointment. So, uh, please visit our Facebook page. Nandun po yung link. Klala kalaruhin ko lang po. Ang pagpapa-appointment po, while we are uh, directing you to the Facebook page, hindi po sa Facebook page magpapa-appointment kasi merong create appointment sa Facebook Medyo marami po ang doon nagse-secure ng appointment. Nasa Facebook page lang po yung link, but you will be redirected to another form, an online form via MS365. And uh, that's the form that you are going to use to secure an appointment for our enrollment transactions. So, uh, ayun po. So, uh, sana po ay uh, yung mga kumukuha ng grade 12 report card as a uh, uh, repeatedly being uh, reminded by our uh, senior high school uh, o IC principal, pwede nyo pong huwag nang kuhanin yung report card kung kayo po ay mag -e enroll din sa MCL. So, kung kailan po kayo mag -e enroll let's say bukas, July 15, pwedeng din na po kayo pumunta to get your report card pero ipapasa nyo rin po kasi yan sa amin. Ngayon, kung gusto nyo pong mag-avail ng ating online enrollment at hindi nyo nakukuhanin yung report card, please contact our helpline so that we can assist you and enroll you right away and you can just pay through our off-site payment channels. So, uh, yun po. Uh, ang, ang susi po sa ating uh, uh, remote enrollment is what? Close communication with our admissions office, especially for new students. And uh, I would like to uh, grab this opportunity also to make an appeal to our uh, parents and our new students na naunawa ako po yung frustration na matagal mag-reply yung ibang offices, matagal magbigay ng feedback. Medyo thousands of emails po kasi ang pinag-uusapan on various transactions. That's why we are making an appeal na baka po pwede, please observe our uh, numbers, our helplines and their operating hours, which is uh, only from Tuesday to Saturday, yung aming business operations here on site. So, uh, Tuesday to Saturday lang po. For helplines naman po, that's Monday to Friday, only from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So, hindi po namin na uh, kayang mag 24-7. Uh, for the helplines because of uh, too many transactions. So please bear with us. But we are trying to improve the communication system. Okay, so thank you very much for raising the concern. I thank you very much, sir. Next question po. Is there face-to-face -face classes for the first term this coming August 17? Okay, let's ask the dean. Nag-expect sila ng face-to-face -face classes. Ang follow-up question niyan siguro ay paano yung mga laboratory courses in the different programs. So uh, let us ask our colleagues from MITL. We plan to offer those courses come uh, third term. And uh, we assume that uh, by that time, so students uh, uh, are, only, are already allowed to have a face-to-face -face meeting in the school. But for the meantime, for the first and second term, so uh, most of the laboratory classes are not to be over. Ayan. So uh, we understand that you are very excited to uh, what go around MCL this coming August 17. But as we always tell the parents, we are very much prepared to hold face-to-face -face classes. But because the government is restricting us, on the conduct of presidential classes or face-to-face -face classes, we have no other choice but to have the first trimester fully online. But then again, when the government says, then we can open residential classes, uh, please be assured that we will be opening the doors of MCL to all our senior high school and college students. Thank you very much, Paul. Next question. 
May pagbabago po ba sa miscellaneous of MCL for the new normal? Yes, definitely we have adjusted the miscellaneous fees and we also uh, what we we also we also postponed the uh, our application for tuition fee increase for academic year 2020-2021. So wala po tayong tuition fee increase for this school year. Uh, in solidarity with the parents na may mga financial difficulties and I think everybody naman is what? Uh, expecting for uh, some leniency and some consideration on financial matters. That's why those are the two pieces of good news for you. Number one, wala pong tuition fee increase and second, we adjusted the miscellaneous fees, we discounted it for this academic year for both senior high school and college. Ayan. So, next question po. May scholarship rin po ba kada term katulad sa senior high? Is this for senior high or for college? The application of scholarship for senior high school will be annual. For college, just the same as before, it will be applied depending on the academic uh, rating or the academic performance of the student on a per-term basis. Ayan, okay. Next question po, it's uh, about engineering courses. In engineering courses like mechanical, civil, laboratory, machine shops, field work, paano po magagawa ngayon may pandemic? Will you plan to move itong mga labs next year para safe na? So, this question has been answered. Most laboratory classes, which cannot be simulated, will be offered by the third term, assuming that the pandemic has ended. Yeah, next question, this is for, um, C it's about CE course. And about po sa CE course, Ano pong materials po ang gagamitin sa drawing subject? So, the answer is, for mechanical drawing, the usual drawing materials like pencil, drawing paper, technical pens, and then for computer-aided design or CAD drawings, the softwares are AutoCAD and Revit by default. Though for this term, the CAD courses are not yet offered, but we will be offering that uh, those courses later on. Next po, morning. Paano po malalaman kung totally enrolled na po? Nakabayad na po ako ng tuition fee. Ayan. So, Sir James will answer okay. the question. So, after you have paid already the tuition fee, that's the last step for the enrollment. So, please submit your transaction slip via Blackboard Learn so that we can... Uh, be uh, updated on the completion of the last step for enrollment. Another thing is that you can actually check your one MCL account and you will see there that your payment has been reflected and uh, basically, you are uh, officially enrolled. Pag wala na yung, uh, rather pag na credit o na post na yung payment transaction ninyo sa one MCL. Ayan. So, uh, yun. Ayan. Next question po, is AutoCAD required in electronics engineering? So, the answer is yes. It's needed by first year during the third term for 2020 curriculum. Next question. Uh, hello po, I just want to ask po regarding orientation tomorrow. I am an enrollee and my requirements are evaluated already and I am just waiting for my GSA. Will I be able to join the orientation tomorrow? Actually, itong ginagawa natin na viewpoints, ito yung ating orientation. So, uh, maybe uh, he or she is referring to the cyber camp, which initially scheduled uh, to open tomorrow, July 15. But as, uh, but as I said earlier, we have received a number of requests from new students and parents. Baka daw pwede nating i-move ng konti yung uh, cyber camp para maka-join yung mga anak nila dahil hindi pa nasa pipeline pa sila ng enrollment procedures. And uh, we perfectly understand that. And uh, sabi nga natin, meron pa tayong on-site enrollment this coming Friday and Saturday. So, uh, kawawa naman sila kung hindi sila makaka-join sa cyber camp dahil Friday and Saturday pa lang mag-e-enroll. 
So, uh, for our new students, hingi lang ako sa inyo ng tawad. Konti lang. Konting tawad lang. 3-4 days lang naman yon O 5 days rather. Let's start the cyber camp this coming July 21. That's Tuesday. Anyway, it's fully online. So, uh, give us a week to... Uh, Actually, prepared na yung modules. I already talked to the instructors and uh, all the courses are in place already in Blackboard Learn. It's a matter of clicking the unhide button so that it will be available to the students. But then again, those students who will just enroll this coming Friday and Saturday will not be able to join. Or at the very least, they will be missing, what? Three, four, or five days of sessions already. So... Adjust na lang natin ng konti. July 21 will open the cyber camp. So, do not worry because it may overlap naman with the start of classes. Take note that it's an enrichment activity. So, treat that as a vitamin C. So, kahit na uminom ka ng sampung tableta, lalo na ngayon sa pandemic, so, hindi naman siguro makakasama. I hope. I'm not a medical expert. Pero it's just the same. Ibig sabihin, It will be talking about uh, enrichment uh, lessons for English, science, and mathematics. So, uh, mag-overlap man siya dun sa learning activity starting August 17. Hopefully, it will not cause uh, any harm to our new students. So, uh, give us until July 21 so that we can have more students to join the opening uh, next week, Tuesday. So, uh, the more the better and the merrier for everyone. So, uh, please, uh, stay tuned to our announcements. We'll be posting the announcement today for the opening of CyberCamp this coming July 21. And thank you, sir. Uh, the next question is about scholarship. What is the schedule of scholarship exam in July 23 for incoming college students? What time and where? Yeah, please stay tuned to our announcement. So, hindi mo na ako magbibigay ng uh, announcement dyan. Take note that we are sending the announcements to uh, through the Facebook page. So, please stay tuned. Also, there might be some developments because of the localized lockdowns in the nearby communities. So, uh, hintayin natin. There will be adjustments on the conduct of the July 23. We are at present very much inclined to push through with the July 23 as scheduled, but there will be some uh, adjustments on the conduct, meaning yung pinaka uh, administration of the scholarship exam. So please stay tuned to our Facebook pages. Okay. Next question po. Good AM, Sir James. We, had, we intend to submit the original Ilalo enrollment ako, documents on July 23. Sabay na po sa scholarship exams. Do we need appointment in doing so? Thanks. Yes, definitely. Pero yung mga nakapag-secure na ng registration para sa July 23 scholarship exam will have the same list for the appointment system. So, no need to duplicate the appointment. Ayan. Next po. Uh, this is a question for BSCE. May AutoCAD po ba sa BSCE? So, na-answer na po siya. And the answer is yes, there is AutoCAD. But it's not required for this coming term, first term. Next question po. How will you manage the schedules for each student despite the pandemic? Will it be like last term where you will give the lessons and kami na bahala tapusin all the requirements until the final deadline? So, this has been answered. And the answer is, students need to attend online classes regularly and on time. And of course, online consultations with professors are available to our students. And next po, do you need AutoCAD for IE or Industrial Engineering? Yes, we have AutoCAD for the third term of the freshman year for Industrial Engineering students. Uh, next question, this is for Sir James. For MCL senior high school graduates, makukuha po ba yung diploma on the same date na mag-e-enroll at i-claim yung grade 12 report card? Definitely no. Take note that the release of the report card in the normal condition, I'm just reiterating a fact, 
since 2016 for senior high school. Uh, you, the, the releasing of the report card is not always the same day with the graduation day. So last year, we had July uh, June 6 as the release of the report card and the graduation was July 9. Kasi magkaibang bagay po yun. That's in the normal condition. So uh, definitely po, it will not be the same uh, for rather, it will not be on the same day for uh, this situation. Bakit may procedures po ng clearance for the release of the diploma. Inuuna lang po talaga natin yung report card because we understand that some of the students will be transferring out. Kaya nauuna po yung report card which we are doing now for the releasing. So uh, give us uh, at least uh, three weeks to uh, uh, produce the diplomas for the senior high school. Ang pinag-uusapan po natin dyan ay 1,100 grade 12 students who will be receiving their diplomas. And definitely po, it will take time after the clearances and the academic procedures of the senior high school and the academic council. Uh, wag po kayo magayala because we will be proactive in uh, making the needed announcements for the release of the diploma. And we will be scheduling the release of the diploma, but if you cannot uh, get that on that date naman, pwede naman pong later. So, uh, take note, the diploma is not a requirement po for uh, transferring out or for entering another school or university. So, kaya po inuuna yung report card. So, uh, please give us time to process the diplomas, uh, lalo naman po at hindi naman siya requirement for college admissions. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, next question, this is for CE. Uh, within four years in civil engineering, included na po ba ang OJT? So, Sir Hermie already answered this one. Yes, OJT is within the four-year period for BSCE, but uh, the uh, program chair of CE will expound further about OJT. Sir Hermie? Yeah, OJT BSCE will be given during the fourth year of the student's uh, study. Third term, yung pinakahuli pong term na kukunin ng estudyante, nandoon po yung OJT. At uh, dedicated lang talaga yung term na yon sa dalawang courses, yung OJT at saka yung correlation course. Yung correlation course naman, this is uh, uh, a course like uh, a, a preparatory for the board exam. Kaya po, dalawa lang sila para talaga ma- mapagukulan ng pansin talaga, mapagbigyan ng pansin ng estudyante. Kaya, fourth year third term, set for the BSC OJT. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Hermie, uh, for that information. Next question po, magkano po ang tuition fee for architecture? So, um, regarding tuition fees, uh, if you want to know specific uh, fees for each program here in MCL, mag-message lang po tayo, mag-send lang po tayo ng message sa MCL Facebook page and we will be giving the breakdown of fees. Next po, if ever po na may face-to-face -face classes na po, what is the classroom capacity? So for first term, all classes are to be offered online. If IATF will allow face-to-face -face meeting for the coming second or third terms, Maximum of 20 students per classroom. Yeah, and so next po, uh, how will the college conduct minor, major, and departmental exams? So, major and minor examinations are to be given online. So, Sir OP, would you like to um, discuss further about this? Again, the question is, how will col the college conduct minor, major, and departmental exams? Um, major and minor examinations so uh, 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 most of the times it is to be given online so it's either a multiple ch choice type examination or say problem solving type in the professors will be giving the questions then students will be answering the problems and then the solutions uh, are at least sent to the professor's question so basically ganun po yung ginagawa natin Thank you so much, uh, sir. Next question about naman po sa IE or industrial engineering. 
How about po ang OJT ng student ng IE? Madadalay po ba ang pag-graduate nila? Okay, so we have here the program chair of IE, Ma'am Ezra, to uh, further elaborate on the OJT of IE students. Ma'am? Good morning. So for 2018 po na curriculum onward, so until yung mga ating uh, freshman enrollees for this year, so yung ating OJT po will be offered on the third term of their fourth year pa. So yung mga third year po na incoming this year is sa 2022 pa po natin i-offer si OJT. So last term po siya i-offer together with the correlation course which is same din sa diniskasi Sir DP kanina, uh, which is dalawa lang yung course offered for their last term before they graduate. So this is for, uh, para mas ma, kung matapos na sila on the third term, pwede na silang dumiretso after their graduation in their partner company for their OJT program. So same din po na may correlation din sila. So this is for preparation naman for the certification board exam for IE. Thank you, Ma'am uh, Ezra, for that information. Uh, next question po. Good day po. Returning student po ang anak ko from senior high dyan, then continuous college. Naka-enroll na siya online and waiting na lang ako from treasury how much tuition after deduction of all refund and discount. Do we still need to go to the admin or treasury? Thought I'm willing to pay through Paymaya or credit card once I got a total tuition fee of my son. I suggest they get in touch with the helplines because uh, returning students have a different uh, process. So uh, they might be assuming that they will go to the freshman, uh, what, the freshman uh, procedures. Unfortunately for our returning students, they are considered, what, transferees already. Especially if they continued, uh, what, senior high school or any year level for college in another school or university. So uh, please get in touch with our helpline so that they can be assisted properly and also to manage the expectations. Yan. So again po, yung mga helplines po natin, naka-flash po sa screen nyo ngayon. And available din po siya sa ating Facebook page at sa website. So, yeah, so next another question. case pala is Mahuha if you're not returning students, scholarship. They might think na pag sinabi natin yung returning students, uh, nag-enroll ng one term, then for one or two terms, hindi nag-leave of absence, then babalik. So just the same, meron tayong reactivation process for that. So uh, please coordinate with our helplines so that uh, you can be assisted properly. Yeah, next po. Saan ko po makikita kung magkano ang tuition for BSCE? So again po, um, mag-message lang po kayo sa MCL Facebook page and we will be giving the breakdown of tuition and other fees for a particular program. Ayan. So next question po, saan po makikita yung 1MCL account? So yung 1MCL account po ay makikita nyo rin through uh, the link in our website. So isa sa mga... Uh, buttons or sa mga uh, pipindutin nyo po pag nasa website, makikita nyo yung 1MCL. Pag kinlik nyo po yun, madadirect po tayo sa ating 1MCL account. Okay, next po, uh, kailangan, kailan po ang medical and dental check-up ng Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering? Okay. So, uh, that's not only for civil engineering, that's for, uh, for all incoming senior high school and uh, freshman students. Take note that medical is a uh, post-enrollment requirement, meaning to say before you, we send you to, uh, uh, before we open the classes and uh, we make you enter the room with the other students, requirement natin yung medical. Kaya bago mag-start yung class, in the old normal circumstance, nagre-require tayo ng medical. But I think we cannot do that now because of sino ba gusto magpa-medical sa mga hospitals na di ba, pinupuntahan ng mga COVID-19 patients. So uh, again, please stay tuned to our announcements because we are coordinating with our providers for the medical uh, uh, examination uh, procedures. Definitely po, dahil ang, uh, para lang ma-explain ko for the appreciation of our parents and new students, 
Kaya po tayo nagpapamedical because if there is a new student na mayroong communicable disease at bigla nating dinala yan sa classroom, posible siyang makahawa ng teacher o ng mga kaklase niya. But take note that for senior high school, we'll have fully online for the entire year. And for college, we'll have fully online for that first trimester. So medyo manage po yung health risk na yan as of the moment. That's why we are deferring the medical exam requirement until further notice. And uh, dahil wala naman pong face-to-face -face classes, i-announce na lang natin bago mag-face-to-face -face classes kung kailan safe ng magpa-medical yung mga bata. That is uh, basically needless to say that we are putting premium on the health and safety of uh, our new students and uh, the MCL community as well. Thank you, sir. Next question po. Uh, pwede na po ba mag-enroll off-site kahit hindi pa na-evaluate yung mga requirements na napasa na? Offsite, definitely for offsite, you need to submit all your documents online through Blackboard Learn. And thank you, po. Next question. Nag send po ako ng application for college. How long will it take for the processing of the application? Please call our helpline so that you can get an update on your application. Pero ko yung mga tipong kaninang 8 a.m. lang sinend yung application, unfortunately, hindi po ganun kabilis dahil we are receiving a lot of transactions and uh, most of the transactions came as early as May. So yung mga this week lang nagpasa or last week lang, definitely po it will take time to process kasi naipon na nang naipon. So my suggestion is to call our helplines or ang pinakamabilis dyan, Pumunta kayo dito for the on-site enrollment this coming July 17 and 18. Bring all original documents and all the forms that need to be submitted and we will process your enrollment right away. Thank you, sir. Next, this is about IP grade naman. So, who do I contact for IP grade concerns? Makakapag-enroll ba yung anak ko kahit may IP grade? So, for... IP great concern. So as early as now, you may send an email to your respective professors for what you need to comply with in order to convert your IP grades into numerical grades. Your extended learning time or ELT is until the first term, 2020-2021. Next po. Ayan, so it's same. Ayan. If my son will finish his civil engineering in MCL and he, if he plans to take up mechanical or electrical, how many years will he finish another course? So, nasagot po dito, ang answer po natin ay approximately two more years for either BSME or BSEE. These years will be for taking the major courses specific to mechanical or electrical engineering program. Ayan. So, may next question din po dito. Uh, Sir James, pwede po mahingi ang mobile number for concerns? Uh, again, we are flashing our helplines uh, on your screen and you will also be seeing these helplines in our Facebook page and website po. So, kindly uh, give us a call para po ma-assist kayo further sa inyong specific concern. Yun po. So, so far po, ayan po yung mga questions na uh, nasagot natin. Hi. So, Sir James, do you have anything po po to say? Nasagot na po yung mga questions na binigay ng ating mga attendees. Okay. So, uh, basically, ito ang aking message. Diba? Think positive, talk positive, feel positive. Diba? So, lahat tayo ngayon ay... Uh, Feeling uncertain about so many things. Schedules are always tentative. All announcements are saying until further notice. But I think that's basically what the new normal is all about. Even though we are so what? So uh, in denial about it. Ayaw natin mangyari yung mga bagay-bagay na yan. But it's part of the new normal that we are facing. And we are very happy that, that we have close to 50 attendees for uh, this viewpoint session this July 14, 2020. Maraming maraming salamat po sa mga parents and new students. 
And hopefully, our program chairs from the Mapua Institute of Technology at Laguna were able to uh, share with you what tons of positivity because uh, you attended the Viewpoints workshop because you are very interested with our engineering and architecture programs and you want to be a what a major stakeholder in shaping the career and professional development of your children. And that's also the same commitment that Malayan Colleges Laguna Amapua School would like to uh, extend to our parents and students that we are ready, we are always improving, and uh, we are always keeping our curriculum and instructional delivery at par with the standards so that we can exceed the expectations. It's not a perfect system. It's not a perfect model. But uh, our people, our program chairs, the dean, and uh, the faculty members of uh, the Mapua Institute of Technology of Laguna and the other academic departments are very much willing to listen and to assist your, uh, our students, your children. So, uh, sana po ay uh, magkaroon po tayo ng supportahan sa bagay na yan so that uh, we can develop our own success stories under the new normal. Kaya ay nagtatanong po kanina na paano pag graduate ng civil engineering, gusto mag-ME, gusto mag-EE, mas gusto po namin yan kasi gusto nyo, gusto nyo pong bingguhin yung mga programs under MITL. And uh, maganda po yan because that's one thing that we would always want to uh, emphasize to the community that the support of the parents is very important for the success of the children. And uh, MCL, bagamat marami po na ang, ang skwelahan po ay nagiging baggage counter ng mga parents, ay uh, willing po kami na makipag-partner sa mga parents in uh, nurturing your children into becoming professional someday. So, uh, yun po ang message po namin. And I would like to emphasize our team for this year surpassing the limits in the new normal. Again, it's in the present tense. It's in the process. We're in transition and we're doing so many things to uh, prepare for uh, the new normal. We are doing so many things to transition and to have our own success stories of, of surpassing the limits. Allow me to thank the Mapua Institute of Technology at Laguna for joining us this morning, led by uh, the Dean and uh, concurrently the Program Chair of Mechanical Engineering, Engineer Orlando Perez, and uh, Engineer Hermie Del Pilar, Engineer May Garcilia Nosa, Engineer Esra Godilano, Engineer Maribel Pabianya, Engineer uh, Criselda Loyola and Architect Fred, Fred Gakutan, who uh, shared their uh, experience and uh, what their programs to our parents and students this morning. Also, our uh, moderator, Ms. Uh, Natalie Rivera of the Corporate Communications Office and Ms. Mia for uh, joining us in the production. So, maraming maraming salamat po on behalf of our president, Dr. Reynaldo B. Bea, who is a licensed mechanical engineer and also the president of Mapua University. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ingat po kayo. And uh, on behalf also of all our administrators, faculty members, employees, and 6,000 students from both senior high school and college, we will be happy to welcome our new engineering students this coming August 17, 2020. So good morning po and mabuhay po tayong lahat.